Hi everyone, welcome back to Active Self Protection Extra today here at C2 Tactical. Thank you to them here in Scottsdale for allowing us to use the range. The magic box of anger, you know, tells my friend Destiny that she sucks. No, she doesn't. She's, you know, we're going to use this today to remind us why two hands on the gun is what we want to do. Download the ASP Unlimited app for all the content you love from Active Self Protection and more with no interference from YouTube. No ads, no age gates, exclusive videos, seminars, classes, and more on iOS, Android, Apple TV, Roku, Amazon Fire, and Android TV. Hit the link in the description or download ASP Unlimited from your app store today. Recently had a video on the channel, Defender one-handed the gun. Had some significant distance, about 10 yards, on this shooting problem one-handed. So uh, I think the number one reason that we see people use a gun one-handed on the channel is just by choice. They just drive the gun out there with one hand because they got it out from wherever it was with one hand and they use it with one hand. Um, okay, um, and, and I get that. And I've had even some people say to me, well, John, why don't we just teach more one-handed because that's what people do. Well, I'd rather teach correcting the problem and get two hands on the gun if I can and the magic box tells us why. We stand here at 10 yards, that's the problem that our defender had, and we say, okay, wait a minute, if I have to get A zone hits, because that's usually my standard, right? I need to get somewhere here, again, above the diaphragm, below the collarbone, inside the nipples. That's really what our A zone is, okay? That's where all the pumps and pipes are, that's where all the, the major uh, blood pumping organs are, so that's where we wanna get hits. And at what pace can I get those hits? What is my I can do this number? Um, now, if we get some really good technique one-handed and we're a really high level shooter, maybe we can get some, some pretty high ones. But the magic box is gonna give us some data here about how quickly we think we can do that and why I wanna put two hands on the gun and why I want you to train to drop what's in your support hand and put that second hand on the gun. Simple as this, we're out at 10 yards and we wanna get a couple of follow-up shots, right? We don't gotta burn a, a boatload of ammo doing this, so some people might do build drills and I'm gonna do six shots on this. I think anything you're learning on shot five and six, you probably learned on shot three. So we're gonna do three shots, okay? Just like we were doing in a previous video at 15 yards, now just getting some idea here, we're just comparing two-handed to one-handed at 10 yards, okay? I'll go first. And, and then we'll let Destiny go. Or would you rather go first before you have me no, uh, no. setting a pace? No, it's all right. I'll no, go. you want me to go first. Okay, you get to hold the timer. Eyes and ears on everybody. Gotta get my hers out of the way. I'm gonna use the far one, so then that leaves you a little bit easier one if that's cool for you. Yeah. Uh, so you're not stuffed up against the wall. So all I'm gonna do here is on the first one, I'm gonna get a couple of reps, maybe three reps of two-handed shooting. Three shots, she's gonna give me a go signal. I'm gonna go pop, 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 and I'm gonna see my goal is three alphas, okay? But three alphas at pretty much the fastest pace that I can. I wanna push my pace. I don't want, you know, three alphas like this. I want in the A zone and, and not waiting, okay? Uh, and, and you notice I'm not using words like fast and slow. I'm trying real hard not to use words like fast and slow because I want to get them at the pace that I can without wasting time, okay? Uh, because my grip is my master. Sight set the pace, trigger is the servant, okay? So first I'm gonna get two-handed here and get a pace for three shots that I know I can get. Go ahead and give me a buzz whenever. All right, shoot ready? Ready. Stand by. Okay, I shot a Charlie there. Give me an, uh, let's see, what were my splits on that one? Oh, here. So when you wanna run this timer, what, all we gotta do here is, is that if we push the, the menu here, mm -hmm. okay, it will then give I'll me stuff. Fits. So that told me a .33 and a .29. So that my first shot there, was that, and then it was a 0.33 split and a 0.29 split, okay? So 0.33, 0.29, now I did get a Charlie on that one. Let me do it again All right. and see if I can uh, clean that problem up. I got, uh, yeah, I got plenty of shots here. All okay. Right. Shooter ready? I'm ready. Stand by. Okay, again, I dropped one a little bit low there, but I'm pretty close. I'm right at the edge is what that's telling me. That's a that's an alpha, but you know, it's a Charlie, but it's a borderline Charlie. Yeah, you were three one and two nine. Okay, so right at three O's is about what I can get here, and I'm I'm right kind of on the verge of what I can do. Now I'm going to do it one handed. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's no chance on God's green earth I'm shooting three O's, and not at getting hits, anyways. Okay, but let's see here. So what technique am I going to use? I'm going to use my regular technique here that I normally do. All right, shooter ready. Ready. Stand by. Okay, still shot a Charlie on that. What do I got? 
That's a guy, at least I would say seven fives. Uh, your second was seven six, your third was seven one. Yeah, so seven fives, okay? So I'm more than twice as slow and getting kind of roughly the same stuff. Let's try it again. Let's see if I can control this dot a little bit better. All right, shooter ready? Ready. Stand by. Okay, about the same, about the same work there. That was probably a little better, probably in the dot sixes. Uh, second, it was seven one, third was six one. So, okay, I'm right in that ballpark, seven one, six one. So, so what does that mean? I'm twice as fast with two hands on the gun as I am with one. So why do I wanna put two hands on the gun? I mean, okay, so I'm kind of right on my edges. I was actually shooting my very edges and I can see, I can see my friend Destiny going, John, you suck, because those aren't all alphas. Uh, <laughs> not at all, no. <laughs> and it's true, our, my accuracy first friends will do that, right? No. And it's not all alphas. Okay, and I'm right kind of at the edge, shooting a Charlie Actually, here Actually, what I was of... thinking was, great, if this is what you're shooting, like, what am I about to do? <laughs> well, here's a great thing. I'm not gonna be at your gunfight. You're not gonna be at mine. So what I can do matters not to you, okay? Mm -hmm. Also, I've had 1,500 plus hours of gun school. And I, this is what I do for a living. So if I wasn't good at it, that would be a problem, right? You have a full-time job, you're raising kids, you're doing all that stuff, this is a hobby for you, okay? You've become a hobbyist. But if you were as good as I was at your level of, of training, I'd be pissed, quite frankly. I've been wasting a ton of time. That's true. Okay, get up here and let's see what you got. Were you doing it, did you uh, draw or did yeah, you? Yeah, so from, from the out, because I'm just looking at, at, at controlling the recoil right now. Okay. Okay? All right. So on this first one here, your goal is alphas, okay? okay. Three shots, I'm gonna come over this side so I'm not eating your brass, okay? So, three shots. And uh, when I give you the go signal, it's not, I'm not worried about the first shot. I want to see how quickly my recoil control lets me get the second and third. Okay? okay. Uh, ready? Stand by. Okay. So on those two, we had a six, seven and an eight, zero. Okay. Now that six, seven was a little bit left uh -huh. and your eight, zero was uh, an A. So that's really good. Let's try it again. I just want to get it a little bit more. We were right kind of on the edge. Again, running dot six splits at 10 yards. Is, is really good, okay? That's not a bad uh, ability to control recoil at all. All right, let's see if we can do that and just, I want you to grip that gun like it stole from you and then shoot your dot. You ready? Ready. Good. That third split, I think you you definitely went to your potential there, huh? Yeah. Yeah, sure. so the first one was a 9-2, but the second one was a 6-8, all right? Now I want you to take your support hand off the gun. Okay, let me just reload because I only got one in there. Sounds um, good. What was, you said my third shot was what on a that? A dot six eight. Which, again, she's shooting a small gun, uh, but she should be shooting a small gun. She has smaller hands than me, right? So still, this gun fits her hand very well. So remember when we're doing single-handed, I just want that hand out of the way. You can, you can put it in a, a ball and a fist on your chest. You can stick it in your back pocket. I don't care, I just want it out of the way, okay? I, I know you've been taught how to shoot a little bit one-handed. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm right yeah. on that. We've done some of this stuff. I'd really recommend pinky pressure, right? So pinky pressure will get you what you want. And I want three uh, alphas as quickly as I can get them, but not quicker. Okay. All right? Shooter ready? Ready. Three good alphas. Three good alphas, 120 and 106. Let's try it again. Now we've got a little bit of play on it. Are you ready? Stand by. Okay, those were quicker. Those were really good. Okay, we had a dot eight two and a dot eight two. So you're actually relatively quick comparatively. So now I want you to put both hands on the gun again. Okay, and I want you to recognize you saw that gun moving a little bit. Uh -huh. Now I want you to push that speed with the two hands on the gun. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Stand by. Oh, oh, that third one was awesome. What was that all about with a dot five three? <laughs> five three. Okay. okay, so a seven nine and then a five three. What happened on that third okay. one? Did you see your dot? I did. So, so that's your speed you're capable of. Yeah, right. I think yeah. I think definitely going from one handed. I was like, oh okay, I can do more with two hands. So for sure. Once we figured out we can do more, when then guess what time it is to do more. Now get out there. I want to see Let you doing do both of those. Okay. Okay. Now you know how you can control recoil. You ready? Ready. Beautiful, beautiful, useful shot. That useful. Dot six two dot four nine. Okay. Dot six two dot four nine. So so when you're like, oh wait a minute, I don't know how I'm gonna do on this. <laughs> dot fours? Are you kidding me? That's quick. Go ahead and holster up. All right. 
So one hand versus two hand, what do you got? Um, I mean, I, I surprised myself though with one handed. It wasn't, I, any other time I've tried one handed shooting, I really struggle. Um, this one, like you said, I was just focusing on squeezing my, my pinky and I flagged my thumb a little more on the, on the shots. And this, this video is not about one handed shooting techniques, but again, are you gonna go thumb forward, thumb up, thumb flagged into it, thumb down? That all depends. Am I gonna go, you know, strong side foot forward or back, or am I gonna do the hokey pokey and turn myself around? That's all stuff you gotta work on in single handed shooting. But the bottom line is, how much faster were you with two hands on the gun? After trying the one, much faster, yeah. Much faster. We're yeah. talking the difference between a, a one second split and a dot four nine. Yeah. Right? Twice as fast on the second and third shot with two hands on the gun. Um, does time matter in a gunfight? Yeah, remember you can't hit fast enough to, or you can't miss fast enough to win a gunfight, but you can hit slow enough to lose one. Uh, and so what do we want to do? Put two hands on the stinking gun, would you? Would I suggest that you try this yourself on the range? Absolutely I would. I would recommend you get a timer, recommend you get out on the range and time yourself because it'll tell you very quickly, man, I need to put two hands on the gun if I can. We do this out at 10 yards because it makes us see the sight. If I get in inside, inside at five yards or three yards, I can just rip the gun and, and point shoot it. And, and probably get acceptable hits, and I won't see as much difference. Back here at 10 yards, nah, I start yeah. to see some difference, right? Because I recognize what the challenges is. So go try it. Give Destiny some kudos for shooting on the channel.